Does mask and fluid expire? I've had two bottles expire on me now, so I thought it was pretty common knowledge, but I recently posted this video on TikTok and it got a lot of traction. Like, it's literally my most viewed video somehow. I don't know about the algorithm, I don't know how that happened. And most people didn't know that it could expire. They couldn't see it in the video or they thought it was just user error. So today I'm going to be showing you the three signs that your masking fluid might be expired. A slight warning, some of these clips aren't exactly pleasant but it's educational. Generally, if you notice these signs, you've got a few months before it becomes an actual problem, but if you continue using the masking fluid like I did, when you know it's a problem, it can ruin your paintings. It can absolutely ruin your paintings. The first sign is the smell. Honestly, I know masking fluid doesn't smell good on the best of days, but if you trust your nose on this one, once it starts to smell bad and it's really noticeable when you open the bottle, that means it's going off. It's still usable, but it's definitely on its way out. You've really got to trust your nose on this one. The second sign is that there starts to become lumps in the bottle. Often you might get some dried masking fluid around the lid, that's not generally a cause for concern until it starts becoming a big amount and it's difficult to open the bottle. Or if you're dipping your brush or your rolling pen into the masking fluid and actually touching lumps in there, it's definitely going off. If you shake it and try to use it, you will most likely rip the paper. And whilst you might not have lumps in the bottle, if you're popping it down on paper and noticing that the consistency has changed, noticing that it's thicker, it doesn't flow as nicely, and it does give the appearance of small lumps, that also counts. The third sign is a given that you should not be using this masking fluid at all and the third sign is when you can see separation. When there's a load of gooey mixture at the bottom and then the masking fluid on top is a more yellow shade than a cream. Don't shake it, don't shake it and try to use it because it will stain your paper yellow and it will probably rip your paper. I did this and it, it did both. In a new masking fluid, it's normal to have a little bit of vibrant yellow, that's fine, you can give that a shake, but if it's completely separated and the colour is just not right, please do not attempt to use it. I was that person, I shook the masking fluid and I put it on my paper and... It stained the paper yellow and it ripped it. So don't be me, be a better person and buy a new one. Well, I hope this might have been helpful for you. The main takeaways are trust your eyes and your nose, basically. If this was helpful, I'd love if you could hit the thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and I'll see you next time. Bye.